Bismillahirrahmanirrahim In the name of Allah the most beneficent the most merciful Dear students assalamu alaikum my name is Aisha Abdullah subject specialist maths at Divinal Public School and College Sahiwal Students I will teach you maths of class 6 and this is your lecture number 15 As you very well know that we are studying chapter number 2 that is whole numbers So here is the content include exercise number 2.3 Question number 2 Students, by the end of this topic, you will be able to prove and identify the laws of addition, that is, commutative law, associative law. Firstly, we recall the previous knowledge. In previous lectures, you have learned about the laws of addition, that is, commutative law. In addition of two whole numbers, the result remains unchanged by changing their order. For example, 4 plus 3 is 7 and 3 plus 4 is is again 7 so here you can see that the result remains same by changing the order so this is the commutative law of addition associative law in addition of three whole numbers any two whole numbers can be added first for example, consider three whole numbers 2, 3 and 4. Now, according to this statement, there is no change in the result if we add any two whole numbers first. As you can see that if we add these two whole numbers firstly, then we get 5. And 5 plus 4 is 9. Here, in this case, add these two whole numbers firstly, that is 3 plus 4, which is 7. Then 2 plus 7 is again 9. So answer remains same by adding any two whole numbers firstly. And this is associative law of addition. Here is the topic that is exercise number 2.3 question number 2. Question number 2 is given over here that is prove and identify the law used in each of the following. The first part of question number 2 is given as 5 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 5. To prove this, firstly we solve left hand side and then right hand side. So left hand side is 5 plus 3 and 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. Now right hand side is 3 plus 5 that is 8. As you can see that left hand side is equal to right hand side. Hence proved. Now we have to identify which law is used in it. That is commutative law of addition.
द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर टू इज इलेवन प्लस फोर्टीन इज इक्वल टू फोर्टीन प्लस इलेवन इन सोल्यूशन लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज इलेवन प्लस फोर्टीन विच इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड राइट हैंड साइड इज इक्वल टू फोर्टीन प्लस इलेवन विच इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव इट मीन्स डैट वेन यू एड फोर्टीन एंड इलेवन यू विल गेट ट्वेंटी फाइव नाउ यू कैन सी दैट लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज इक्वल टू राइट हैंड साइड hence proved now we have to identify which law is used in it students you can see that the result remains same by changing the order so this is the commutative law of addition the third part is 26 plus 49 is equal to 49 plus 26 in solution left hand side is equal to 26 plus 49 at 26 and 49 we get 75 now right hand side is 49 plus 26 which is equal to 75 so you can see that left hand side is equal to right hand side hence proved it is easy to see that result remains same by changing the order so this is the commutative law of addition fourth part of question number 2 is given over here in solution take left hand side which is 6 plus 9 plus 15 and this expression 9 plus 15 is in round bracket as you can see so we firstly solve this expression 9 plus 15 which is 24 again 6 plus 24 we get 30 in right hand side which is equal to 6 plus 9 plus 15 and you can see that here 6 plus 9 this expression is in round bracket so firstly we solve the expression in round bracket that is 6 plus 9 which is equal to 15 again 15 plus 15 is equal to 30 so left hand side is equal to right hand side as you can see that hence proved now again we have to identify which law is used in it that is associative law of addition now you can see that by adding any two whole numbers firstly the result remains same so this is the associative law of addition in the seventh part you can see that in solution left hand side is equal to 44 plus 66 plus 55 the expression 44 plus 66 is in round bracket now add 44 and 66 we get 110 again adding 110 and 55 we get 165 in right hand side which is equal to 44 plus 66 plus 55 and the expression you can see that 66 plus 55 is in round bracket adding 
66 and 55 we get 121 now add 44 and 121 we get 165 you can see that left hand side is equal to right hand side so hence proved and this is the associative law of addition in the eighth part in solution left hand side is 10 plus 100 plus 1000 and again the expression 10 plus 100 is in round bracket so we solve firstly the expression in round bracket that is 10 plus 100 we get 110 adding 110 and 1000 we get we get 1110 right hand side is equal to 10 plus 100 plus 1000 and the expression 100 and 1000 is in the round bracket so add firstly 100 and 1000 it means we will add the expression within bracket by adding 100 and 1000 we get 1100 so left hand side is equal to right hand side hence proved and this is the associative law of addition in the ninth part as you can see that in solution left hand side is equal to 123 plus 231 plus 321 and here is the round bracket so add firstly 231 and 321 we get 552 now 123 plus 552 is equal to 675 the similar way by solving right hand side you can see that left hand side is equal to right hand side hence proved and this is the associative law of addition here is an assignment for you that is question number two fifth and sixth part thank you for watching the video